Hi. Patrolman down in Cuyahoga Falls. The reason I stopped you is you've got white light showing to the rear of your vehicle. Do you have driver's license proof insurance on you? Yes. Is there a reason you're not buckled? No. What? Other than the marijuana, what have you used tonight? Just weed. Just weed. How much weed? Just a What? Just a blunt. Okay. Dispatch falls three. I'll take a car. All right, wait here for me. Dispatch falls three. I'll take a car. Dude, I think this girl is stoned. Oh yeah. Uh, Either that or she's just real s slow. There's a huge one sitting in the middle of her. Ma'am, can I have you step out of the car, please? Sit back here for me. Do you have anything on you that's going to hurt my partner or I? Are these your only pockets? Such as they are. Okay. I step over here. When did you smoke? When I was at the gas station. When you were at the gas station? When were you at the gas station? What? I don't remember what time. Was it recently, not recently? It was kind of recent. It was kind of recent. What's with all the KT tape? It helps keep my dogs and stuff together for whenever I go for runs. When you go for runs? You run so much that your elbows come? Yeah. Okay. Where are you headed right now? To my friend's house to go to sleep. To go to sleep? Yeah, because I'm tired. <laughs> Where do you stay? I don't... What? I don't, like, have, uh, I kind of just, I don't know. Kind of between places right now? Yes. Okay. Is there anything in that vehicle other than... Stressed. Okay, I understand that you're stressed. You understand that my partner and I are going to be in the vehicle. Is there anything in there other than You don't know? What? I don't know. What might be in there? You're stressed? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I'm concerned that you're operating your vehicle while impaired by would you consent to going through some field sobriety tests? Sure. Okay. Let's just step up here on this nice flat sidewalk. You put your hands down by your sides. Do you have anything wrong with your eyes? Cataracts, glaucoma, anything like that? Do you wear contacts or glasses? Sometimes I wear glasses. It you... helps me see. Okay. Um, have you had any serious head or brain injuries recently? I had a concussion. When did you have a concussion? A while ago? Yes, I don't like going. What? You're scared? No. You don't need to be scared. You're not going to get harmed in any way. Ma'am, can you turn and face me again, please? Can you put your hands back down by your sides? I want to move my finger around. All right? I need you to follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? Are you able to do this? Are you able to follow my finger with your eyes? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Is there a reason you're not answering? Can you can you do this? Do you want to move on to a different test? I just want to leave. <laughs> I understand that you just want to leave. Can you move on to a different test? Mm -hmm. Would you rather do that? 
What is wrong? Please don't think about running. I feel like you're contemplating trying to run away. Is that true? Is it? Don't. For one, you're in Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> For two, you tend to come apart when you run. <laughs> and for three, I'm pretty fast. Okay. And also, if you do that, you'll for I'm sure get arrested. Okay, mm. so no running. Do you want to keep trying the ice test? <laughs> okay, it's 71 degrees and really humid out here. It is, trust me. Do you want to keep doing that test? Or would you like to move on to something else? Can I sit? <laughs> no, you can't sit. Okay. I'm offering you the opportunity. What, what would you like to do? Sit. Okay, that's, that wasn't one of the choices. <laughs> oh my gosh. So would you like to continue... What? I can wish I still wore one. Okay. It's 11.52. Do you want to keep doing that test? No. No. Really. Would you like to move on to another test? Yeah. Do you have anything wrong with your hips, knees, or ankles other than the KT tape issue? Yeah. Who puts that on for you? I do. You do? Did the doctor tell you to do that? Yeah. Okay. Nothing wrong with your hips, knees, or ankles other than just you tape them when you run? Anything wrong with your lower back that would affect your balance? Yeah. What? Are you okay? Yeah, I just, I, I get stressed. Okay, you don't, you don't need to be stressed. I know, but I can't. Because I'm feel like I'm having a heart attack. What? I feel like I'm having a heart attack. You feel like you're having a heart yes. attack. Would you like an ambulance to come check you out? No. Mm -mm. I don't want an ambulance. I don't. Mm -mm. Okay. So do you want to you want to try a walking test? Yes. Okay, let's try that. All right. Right where you're standing. Go ahead and put your left foot down right where it is, and your right foot in front of it, heel touching toe. Can you do that? Can I take my shoes off? Absolutely. So when you're doing this, just imagine there's a straight line running out in front of you. Okay, put your left foot on that line. Right foot in front of it, heel touching toe, hands down to your sides and stand just like that. Oh, don't keep walking. Left foot with your right foot in front. Right foot in front of left. Now stop. Heel touching toe and stop right there, okay? When I tell you to, but not before I tell you to, you're going to walk nine heel to toe steps down that straight line. Each time you're going to touch your heel to toe, you're not going to step off the line. You're going to look down at your feet. You're going to count out loud. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Or I'm sorry, you're going to count your steps out loud. You're not going to count like that. Count your steps out loud. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps down the line. When you get to the end of the line, you're going to take a series of small steps around whatever foot is down, and you're going to walk nine heel to toe steps back down the line. It's going to look something like this. So starting here, one, two, three, and so on till nine. A series of small steps to turn, and then one, two, three, and so on until nine. Again, you keep your hands down to your sides. Touch heel to toe with each step. Don't step off the line. Wait, wait, wait. Don't step off the line. Count your steps out loud and look down at your feet. Do you understand the instructions? All right, you may begin. Are you done? You were just supposed to keep doing the instructions that I gave you. All right, you ready to go on to the next test? Yep. Okay. Face me again. Just hands down to your sides. For this one, you're going to pick one foot, either foot. I don't care which it is. All right. You're going to hold your foot about six inches off the ground. You're going to point your toe so your foot's parallel with the ground. 
and you, this time you're going to count out loud, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and so on until I tell you to stop. While you're doing that, you're going to look at your foot, you're going to keep your legs straight, you're going to keep your hands down to your sides, it's going to look something like this. I'm going to use my left foot, you can use whichever one you want. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and so on until I tell you to stop. Again, my foot is pointed, my foot's about 6 inches off the ground, my leg is straight, my hands are down to my sides. I'm going to count out loud, 1, 1,000, like that. Do you understand that? Do you understand those instructions? Yeah. Alright, you may begin. Put your foot down. All right, just a couple more things we're going to do. I'm going to move my finger around some more, but it's going to be easier this time, okay? Can you look directly at my finger? Why are you wearing a glove this time? Why am I wearing a glove? Because I was afraid you were going to run. If I had to grab you, I want to have gloves on because I'm kind of germaphobic. Okay, well, I kind of want my glove off. You want my glove off? Yes. Okay. All right. Follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. I'm not going to touch your nose. It's going to come in towards you, though. You've got to keep looking at my finger. Okay. I'm not going to touch you. Okay. But you have to look at my finger. It's going to go around again. Okay, last thing. What? I'm not trying to space you out. I'm just seeing how your eyes react to different things, okay? Last thing I'm gonna have you What? Nothing. Okay, last thing I'm gonna have you do, just stand hands down to your sides. When I tell you to, but not before I tell you to, you're gonna look straight up, okay? Like you're trying to see stars. Why would I do that? Well, you don't have to. I'm just... Okay. Well, that's my start. Okay. Are, are you going to do this? Do what? Well, I'm going to finish describing <laughs> a test to you. I will do that. Alright. Ready? No. But ahead. Okay. okay. When I tell you to, you're going to look straight up. After you look straight up, I'm going to tell you to close your eyes. Once you've closed your eyes, you're going to estimate 30 seconds, and then you're going to look right back down at me. Okay. So look straight up, then I'll tell you to close your eyes. Once you've, you're going to estimate, <laughs> you're going to estimate 30 seconds, then you're going to look right back at me, okay? Do you understand that? Yeah. All right, look straight up, tip your whole head. I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that? So you're refusing to? Because it hurts. What hurts when you do that? My body. Your body hurts when you do that? Yes. So you're not going to do that? So what? I'm just asking you a question. Are you going to do that or not? Is anybody paying me for this? Uh, no, no one is currently paying you. So then why do I got to be here? Because <laughs> you're being detained by the police. So why would I be getting detained by the police if I'm not doing it? So, uh, are you going to do that? <sighs> what? Do you want to do the last yeah. test or not? What's the last test? The, the looking up one. Sure. All right. Close your eyes. Cl so you're going to look up. Then you're going to close your eyes. You're going to estimate 30 seconds. At the end of 30 seconds, just look back at me, okay? All right. Go ahead and look straight up. Full head. Way back. Tip way back. I don't want to do that because I can actually go and do a back bend. I will, <laughs> I will keep you from doing that. So, I'll find a different star. Okay, you can. You don't have to look for a start. I'm just saying, look straight up. Well, that's how I do Okay, universe. go ahead and look straight up. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Are you gonna do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. 
try one more time. <laughs> Is it the battle of the... I'm sorry. Go ahead and look straight up. Close your eyes. Why are you still looking straight up? All right. Go ahead and face away from me. Why? As I told you to, put your hands behind your back, palms together. You're under arrest for operating a vehicle while impaired. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. And you have the right to have that attorney present with you for any questioning. You under understand your rights that have been read to you? Do you understand your rights? No. Do you want me to read them to you again? I want. She is RO. I got her. Let's walk this way. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you, and you have the right to have that attorney present with you for any questioning. Do you understand your rights as they have been read to you? Do you understand your rights? I just Okay, I'm just asking if you understand your rights before I put you in my car. You don't. What do you not understand? Because why can't I just go home? If you keep being cooperative, you will go home tonight. Okay. okay. Do you understand your rights? Well, everybody needs to take off steel toe boots then. I'm not wearing steel toe boots. Okay. Okay. Do you understand your rights? Gabriella or nope. Gabby? Which do you prefer? Gabriella. Gabriella. Do you understand your rights? What? Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm only gonna ask you one question. That's for officer safety, since you currently are saying you don't understand your rights. Is there anything in that vehicle that is going to hurt my partner or I? No. No. Uh, okay. Have a seat, please. Do you need medical attention for any reason? No? What did you get into? What is going on with this girl? <laughs> I swear she's had like two separate personalities. I'm gonna crack the windows for her just. This might be more indicative of a... She appears to be a enthusiast. Given her behavior, I'm going to check her. Yeah. I just want to check right now to make sure she's not like... You okay, Gabriella? Gabriella? You okay? You've not hidden or anything anywhere on you, have you? Okay, so just to be advised now, you're also under arrest for possession of paraphernalia, okay? Young female, very thin, acting very strange. Okay. Um, she's currently under arrest for OVI, uh -huh. and it's going to be drug paraphernalia for um, meth stuff so okay. far. Um, when I ran her, there's a note on her that she had a friend who hid somewhere where we would never find it. Okay. Um, I've not asked her about that. 
I'm going to open the door. I have no idea where we're going to get. She has been alternate, like, staring right through me and doesn't answer when I talk to her. Okay. Like, giggly, laughy. She's all over the place. Okay. Um, have you already told her that she is going home tonight? Yes, I've told her she's going to go home tonight as long as she stays cooperative. Um, I don't have any product or anything like that. Okay. But she's not going to remember that I told her that. Um, possibly tell her that county has an x-ray and she's going to be charged with a felony. And uh, she, when I advise her of her rights, I keep asking her if she understands and she keeps saying no. Okay. So, uh, the only thing I did ask her for safety was if there's anything in there that was going to hurt us and she said there wasn't and there has not been. Her name is Gabriella. Gabriella? Gabriella, can you step out please? Hi. So I'm going to do a quick search. Um, do you have anything on you that's going to poke me or stick me? And then I want you to understand that we are going to take you to our jail, at least for the time being. If you take anything in there that's illegal, that might be hidden somewhere that I'm not going to check, you're going to be charged with a felony. And then you're going to go to jail. Like, to stay. So if you have anything, it's probably better if you just I cough it up. Don't have anything on me. Nothing stuck inside of you anywhere. Nope. Okay. All right. Keep in mind that again, it'll be a felony if, if you do. So this is your chance to hand it over and not be charged I with a dildo, felony. That's it. <laughs> okay. Where's that? In my car. Okay. So it's not inside of you right now. No. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Where are you coming from? Club? Yeah. Yeah? Which one? Um, one that's going to make me get naked. One that's going to make you what? Get naked. Okay. You can untie it if you want. That's okay. I don't want to mess it up. Were you planning on meeting somebody after the club? No? Alright. Move your legs apart for me. What's wrong? Oh, sorry. That's so that you don't elbow me in the face. All right, anything hidden in your hair? No? All right, I'm going to have you sit down and we're going to check your socks, okay? You can sit back in here. You don't have to sit on the ground. Just be careful. All right. Can you see this one? This one? All right, last chance. If you have something inside of you, you need to hand it over. I don't have anything inside of me. Okay, go ahead and have a seat inside the car. All right, Gabriella, you remember when I read you your rights? Gabriella? What? Do you remember when I read you your rights? Do you understand those rights? What? Do you want me to... Okay, do you want me to read your rights? I understand that. We're trying to expedite that process here. Make it quicker, I mean. Would you like me to read you your rights again? Uh, what I'm asking is, are you willing to answer any questions right now? What? I, I just can't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm going to sleep. You're going to sleep. Okay. Gabriella... I'm going to ask you to go through a blood draw. Would you consent to that? No. No? Okay. I would not consent to that. Okay. Just one? No. Alright. You don't need anything from me? No. No, I don't think so. Right. What an unusual young lady. Very unusual. Uh, send me her info when you get a chance. Or is she the RO? She's the RO. Okay. Just, can you drop me off on Big Falls Avenue? Nope. Why? Gotta, gotta leave you with somebody sober. sober. Somebody is sober! Who? My friend Spencer. If Spencer says on the phone he'll take you, then yeah. Okay. Can you 
Yep. Hello. Hold on, let me turn it up. You're sober, aren't you? Yeah. Can I come over? Well, yeah, you can come over. Okay. What's See you soon. You? What's Spencer's what? address? Where are you? I'm in a cop car because they freaking arrested me for who knows what and freaking I have to have I have to be with somebody that's sober and yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Love you. How okay. far away is that? Not far. I could run there faster, but you won't let me go. Oh, six minutes. Praise Jesus. All right. Big Falls Avenue. Here we come. Let's go see Spencer. Where do you dance? Why? What? Why? I'm just trying to make conversation. I don't dance. Oh. Do you bartend? Yeah, I bartend sometimes, but I probably just lost my job. house is big expenses. It's not just uh, it doesn't matter which one just but can you let me out? I don't want anybody to get uh, it, see the one with the red porch swing right here. Stop. Please. Dude it's right here. This one? Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure he's home. Okay he's right there. Oh, perfect. Spencer, she's a little strung out. Can you just let me out the f***ing car? God damn. Are you a Dortmund fan or is that somebody else's car? That's not my name. Okay. Have a safe night, Gabriella. Thank you, Spencer. <laughs> 